Hi, uh, today I'm gonna show fall death and saw machine killing. If character fall, they will die like that. And when they touch with saw machine, they will die immediately. So let's start. Uh, please subscribe my channel for more tutorial like this. Now please import uh, uh, import uh, import the 3D mesh uh, which I give in my asset. Please uh, download that. The link is in description. There is a texture for that and 3D mesh for that. I already import that. Uh, I import it here. There is uh, three mesh 3D mesh. Here is the here is the saw. Here is the standing part, here is the material and we saw the texture. Now delete that, we don't need that. Uh, now go to our character, open it. Now here we have to find out one thing and that is, uh, make it a little organized. not that uh, align right right add a sequence uh, make it little folder compile save uh, now create a world uh, location we have to find the world location uh, capsule component uh, split it we need the z axis if it's uh, equal or less than 100 minus 100 uh, make it a little down and make it straight add a branch left button and b add with sequence now set the depth and uh, just player depth add the player depth function compile and save save all now if we play and if we fall down we will die but there is uh, no uh, UI widget that's showing your death so go to player death here is the 5 second delay just remove it uh, compile and save now if we play uh, and if we fall we die and there is a widget which tell us we are dead and we want to restart the game or not now go to kill object uh, kill a folder I name it a saw machine, you name whatever you prefer. Now uh, copy the bespike main and rename it. Rename it saw machine. Open it. Here it is. Now change uh, the mesh. Just change the mesh. Now add here uh, saw machine bead and set the location and rotation. Change the name of that component. I name it saw machine. It uh, suit the name. Now select the both collision on the location Z axis 90, both extend X axis 15 and Z axis 90. Now add two scene component. I name it saw1 and saw2 just duplicate it now add a static mesh on both of them I name it saw space1 and saw space2 now on the scene component uh, location uh, Z axis 138, rotation is uh, 90. Same with the saw 2.
now add uh, add the saw now it's not fitting uh, minus 90 should be on y axis add saw uh, y axis and uh, we should uh, in below yes it's fine compile and save now go to event graph on event teeth uh, create a variable name uh, rotate rate it should be on float now add it with uh, event teeth and uh, get it add and add with the set I give value 3 and make it little forward now set uh, relative rotation it should be saw 1 now add another uh, saw 2 add both of the saw now split it and add the value with z axis now uh, not the on component begin our lab both solution add a add a widget add to viewport and add apply damage we want to when our player touch it uh, they immediately die uh, add the damage actor is our own actor side is for character and now uh, yes make it little organized and i now we need to create a widget uh, blueprint and it uh, will look like uh, wb heart uh, just duplicate it and name uh, kill or whatever you prefer it does not matter whatever we will give the name just open it where is it yes here is it and just delete it after five seconds it sh should not be removed it should stay and add the kill compile and save uh, now if we, if we play save all and uh, add the machine here uh, give the its value is a zero and uh, one more thing it uh, should be minus 90 here like the saw uh, one and both should be no collision the mesh should have should have no collision uh, yes we are done now compile and save save all uh, uh, make sure it is in the right uh, position or right shape make it like here yes it's nice uh, save all and if you play now you can see it's uh, rotating and we go here we die and there is a blood effect and if we fall down we will also die but there is no blood effect so that's it uh, for today uh, bye bye everybody